Thank you, thank you. I think I've taken it over part. I can now celebrate words. So can someone and the base come and give me a Make sure that these young people get to know those and especially invited. I have a very short speech. And the title of this speech is Why I am in love with poetry. The chairman of this occasion, the honorable commissioner, represented by the SA in the office, welcome you all and thank you for the grateful words you gave us at the beginning. Um, the principal officers of our university, the DVC, the registrar, the university librarian, specially invited guests, the president of PIN and members of his team, members of the local organizing committee of this event, students from different secondary schools, I salute all of you and I welcome you to this, this occasion. On behalf of the staff and students of Godfrey of Korea University, I welcome each of you to the Nigerian Students Poetry Prize Award organized by Poets in Nigeria and hosted by our beloved University of Kofoko University, popularly called Girls Own University. I welcome you to a university where the Vice Chancellor is unabashed lover of poetry. I welcome you to the home of poetry in Nigeria. I welcome you to Kofoko University. I have often asked myself why I love poetry more than any other color of literary expressions. Also, I have no slightest idea when I fell in love with it. All I know is that I am the product of a love affair between two fantastic lovers who got tied in a nepotial arrangement called marriage. This couple who happened to be my parents were great musicians and dancers. Poetry being the mother of music could have passed through them to me. I love the musicality of poetry. I love its rhythm, soft and hard, slow and fast, shimmering and thundering, sizzling and crackling, tapping and falling. I love the sounds of his drums, guns, flutes, rattles, guitars, pianos, organs, oboes, Saxophones, violins, cellos, trumpets, accordions, mandolins, trombones, harps, bagpipes, bassoons, and bangers. I love his classical music, his rock, his blues, his jazz, his R&B and soul, his reggae, his country music. I love his lullabies and hawks. I love the smell of poetic words. I love his earthy smell, like the smell of my village sword in the first rain. I love his grassy smell. I love his orange, rose, hyacinth, peppermint, hibiscus scents. I love his musty, moldy, heavy, burnt, and smoky smells. I love his odor of chocolate, vanilla, and almond. I love his smell of roasted yam, cashew, and peanuts. I love his smells of fish and chicken barbecue. I love his spicy smell of fresh pepper, which my mother roasted to prepare a badger. And I have even grown, I have also grown even to love his nauseating lines and stench, such as the smell of putrid carcass and or excrement. Wow. Wow. I love the taste of words of poetry. I love the sweetness of poetic diction. Poetry, poetic words transport you to unimaginable sweet things of the earth, wetting your tongue irresistibly. Poetic words can be very delicious. You feel like cutting them out of pages to devour them. I love most the changing taste as you turn them with the tongue of your mind. Sometimes you are lost in an ecstasy of indescribable sweetness. But poetic words can be bitter. They can be bitter pills too hard to swallow. Poetry does not always hide the truth in sweet capsules. 
it can offer the truth on a plate of unwashed bitter leaf or a cup of Swedish bitter. I love the colors of poetic words. Poetry is indeed full of innumerable colors and indescribable color combinations. Sometimes it splashes red on the landscape of human consciousness to reveal danger, horrors of wars, and human catastrophes. Then it spreads its white arms to celebrate the purity of earthly things and human relations. You can also see royalty majestically passing by in painted blue. Then you see fecundity celebrated in green fingers of love. And then you see the joy of yellow ravaged by impish fingers of dragons of that natural forces. But poetic lines also reveal multiple colors and color combinations when they catch intimacies beyond the communicative paths of unpoetic language. I love the magic of words, the magic of poetic words. I love the sudden twists of meaning. I love the po prophetic power of poetic diction. Poetry transports you to the realm of meaning, where even the most ordinary word, word changes its appearance to unwrap a carnival of names. I love the ecstasy of new revelations and words emerge in a theater of human communication dressed in dazzling fresh garments of meaning. I love the feeling of being aglow with fresh revelations of words. I love the magic of words. I love the fear of words, their arousing caresses. Poetic words have the gentle fingers of an Italian lover. They crush every organ, visible and hidden. Sometimes they send shivers of indescribable feelings through their veins. This, they can soothe, agitate, massage, irritate or arouse. I love the purity of words. They can be very pure words. Poetic words can be very pure like newborn babies. Poetic words are often conceived in a fecund mind, detached from the world of banalities and trivialities. They emerge from such a mind, pure and undefined, before they get soy by sinful critics. I love the adaptive power of words. Words are like stones rolling down the crevices of a hair and gathering signs of time in a frenzied head, head spin dance. Poetic words take the colors of human experience to evoke all forms of human emotions. I love the evocative power of words and their spins and adaptations. I love poetic words. I'm in love with poetry. Yes, I'm in love with poetry. Yes, I'm in love with poetry. How many times that have to say, I'm in love with poetry. So ladies and gentlemen, and family, let me thank all of you for coming to our university. I thank particularly the President of Pete and his team, as well as members of the local organizing committee led by Amaka Chile. I salute all students from different secondary schools. I can see them in their different colors and shapes, sizes, black and white and all that. I salute all of you. I salute all those who promote poetry in our country. I salute all of you. God bless you.